Okay, so my thoughts on Gen 6. I'm doing this very quickly because I've done this like eight times and I'm getting sick of it. My camera's being a pain in the ass. So, first off, when they made the announcement, I said, okay, this has to be Gen 6 because if it's not Gen 6, then it, Nintendo's just taking a book out of, uh, a play out of Square's book and trolling their fan base, you know. Which is not nice. You shouldn't do that to your fans. Um, so, anyway, the, uh, you know, morning comes, he walks out, gives a brief summary, basically announces Gen 6 at the end, builds it up, really not a master of suspense, he is anything but, but anyway, he did, and uh, so we got Gen 6, looks like we're going to be in Paris instead of New York, um, for the starters, we've got the frog, which I can take or leave, the grass looks like, a, which looks like an Oshawa got it on with something, and the fox, which is by far the cutest starter yet. Uh, I'll get their names eventually. I know the frog's name is Froki, but it really just doesn't matter to me at the moment. Uh, October's a long way off. Dude. By the way, worldwide release. Uh, thank you, Nintendo. Unfortunately, that means we only get a year for events for Black and White 2, because uh, Nintendo, you know, not Nintendo, but uh, Pokemon, now, every time a new game comes out, the old ones become completely obsolete and never get anything new for them. Um, the legendaries, uh, Xernia, Sin, Yveltal, Yveltar, or something like that, Yvel, E, E, no, E, Tel, no, I, Yveltar, or whatever the fuck it's called, uh, they're neat looking, but I can't help but feel that they're rehashes of what we've already seen, design-wise, you know, Xerneas looks like a Dialga, and, uh, Vizarin, the, uh, Green Musketeer legendary there. Uh, it looks like they had a love child, and, you know, the the, the bird, Yvaldar, or whatever the hell it's called, looks like um, Lugia and Darkrai had a baby together. You know, it looks like a hybrid of them, too. Uh, we may have customizable characters. I hope not, because it is way too early in the Jump to 3D to be doing something like that. Um, you know, some series survive the jump to 3D, some don't do very well in the jump to 3D. You know, I mean, you look at Sonic's 3D career, it's been, it's been hit or miss. Mario is always spot on, you know, the Metroid series is kind of floundered around a bit in 3D. Zelda does good in 3D, though. You know, but it's, it's, it's kind of, you know, mixed feelings about this. But, you know, they took sprites and all that almost as far as you can take them in uh, Gen 5. And uh, so it's about time for something new. And uh, that's really my thoughts for the moment. I can't wait. Uh, bye.